Yeah, so it's been an exciting year. So one year on the NASDAQ, uh, we've made some excellent progress in our flight test program. So we're wrapping that up very, very soon. And then also again, Highlight just starting to build the full scale aircraft is really, really interesting. So we learned enough on the half scale flight test program that we were able to really confidently now transition to that full scale uh, aircraft development. And the first thing we're gonna do is start to prove out the underpinning technology. So the vertical lift system uh, on the full scale, which is again, very exciting. And I think that's another key milestone for 2024. I would say it's been a year of two things, innovation and learning. So you can't have one without the other. Uh, we're an innovative, fast moving company. We've made some amazing progress in the last year on the engineering and with the aircraft. But one of the key learning experiences has been operating the public markets. It's been a challenge. We've learned a lot about the people, what investors are looking for, what the markets are looking for. We think we're in a fantastic position moving into 2025. 2024, uh, there was a lot of achievements during the year. Uh, we, we came out of the business combination that led to us becoming public. Uh, we had our fundraising efforts, which closed in the summer. Uh, we've had a modest amount of uh, capital raised through uh, government subsidies and grants. It's put us in a position to make, make a couple of key hires, specifically with our uh, CTO and our VP of Business Development. Uh, is going to put us in a very strong position to enter 2025 with, uh, with very big prospects. So yeah, my highlight for 2024, it's always a highlight for me to see an aircraft fly. And that's when it really drives it home to fly uh, you know, the craft that's right behind me and see it uh, complete its missions uh, as we expect of it to do. Yeah, so this year has been brilliant to uh, you know join the company in the first instance and then to see the sort of progress that's been made with uh, the flight test. Uh, you know, to see the technology that is unique that, uh, you know, around the world to be flying, actively uh, engaging the fans and, and getting into the hover and then getting onto, a, you know, onto wingborne flight has just been phenomenal. It's just been amazing to see the uh, technological uh, validation really of the, of the physics behind the aircraft design. From a technical perspective, a bunch of really good work. Uh, one though that kind of falls in the background people don't see is a simulator. We've developed a very sophisticated simulator that mimics how the airplane flies. So we can test things in the simulator before we test them on the airplane. It's been a key to getting the XY flight test program as, uh, as far as it has without any incidents because we can look at the simulator, test in the simulator, have a high degree of confidence it's gonna work and then make it work. Yeah, the simulator has been invaluable basically. It's just been the, the key to the whole success so far. We would have probably crashed this prototype three, four, five times, maybe been on our third one fixing. The simulator has really shown the dynamics of uh, the flight control laws that we've inputted, and it, it's become very, very predictable, and we can really count on having, we've probably got thousands of flights in the simulator and only uh, much less than that on the prototype. We made some huge strides on flying our existing aircraft, our large scale demonstrator. And that comes from building things in the virtual world, our flight simulator and other simulator environments, and then tuning that for learning in the production environment. So we've learned things in the air and on the ground. We test first on the ground, and then we've made some huge strides when it comes to our test flight program moving forward. But also on the full scale demonstrator, which is our next phase of company operations, we've made some big strides on developing systems, building some of the test rigs that validate the power systems, lift fans, and other innovative pieces we're working on. We've already been making some good progress and we've got some, I think, exciting announcements happening over the next year as we've progressed down that journey. So 2025 is when we fully transition to building that full-scale aircraft. So we're already building test rigs right now, full-scale fan units, dynos for the main power system, and we're kind of knitting everything together from a conceptual and a design phase. And that's, I think, a really exciting thing about 2025 is just that company's laser focus on now developing a full-scale aircraft. Mm -hmm.